We're here at uh, El Tule. It's a big tree. We're going to go have a look at it soon. We just rode 10 kilometers to get here and it uh, feels pretty good. It feels really good to be back on a bike. The Tule tree really reminded me a lot of the mother tree in Avatar. It's huge, it's got weird little growths and odd little things coming out of it. It's uh, 14 meters wide. I was surprised how cool this tree really is and it was totally fun to look at it and walk around it. So, uh, Gwen, we're just uh, halfway back from our uh, biking trip. <laughs> Care to tell me what happened? Well, we can start out by showing you this. Ooh. This happened because I was laugh. going down a hill and there was a rut and I braked for the rut, but I guess I didn't get everything quite right. But I ended up sort of falling by going over top of the handlebars and then smacking my arm which is now onto the road and like let me just have a quick my glasses yeah. so your yeah, legs so are messed up I'm your a mess. hands are messed up <laughs> your face I'm got totally messed a mess. up so oh i don't God. think i don't think there's anything i need to go to see the doctor for or anything i just think i need a like hot shower and a uh, good sleep my arm is a bit wonky though so let, let's see how I can manage with, you know, using it for basic life needs. I can accomplish most things with my right hand, so. And, and how are you going to get the bike home? Um, fortunately, the bike tour, uh, the, the tour uh, guide is going to have his girlfriend come and pick me up in their van. And, um, she's going to drive me home, thank goodness. <laughs> Well, it certainly was an exciting day. It was an exciting day. I've never and had a we got to try mountain before. biking, right? Yeah, that was your first, first time, mountain. time to mountain bike. Would that be your last time to yeah, mountain bike? Yeah, maybe so. I, could, I, I you know, I really, really prefer flat land biking, so yeah, yeah. that's more my cup of tea. All right. Well, I guess that's it for uh, a moment. Let's have one quick look around. We're at the, uh, what's the name of this town? El Tule. El Tule. So this is the... Uh, big giant tree in El Tule. This is the largest width tree in the world. Isn't that right? That's right. Care to tell me what you know about the tree? Um, yeah, it's 2,000 years old, at least. They think it's even more than that. It's a Montezuma cypress. It uh, is a tree that uh, started growing here when this was swamp land. And, uh, that's probably why it, it's been going strong for so long because it's had all that access to water. How is it that that tree got to be any bigger than any other tree? Um, oh, it, it got a fungus and the fungus kind of created all these weird little nodules on it and, you know, potentially accelerated its growth too. Do you know how much wood the tree is? I don't. Do you? I think it was... 90 tons worth of wood. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember the exact dimensions of it, but yeah, pretty big tree. Yeah. I know, you know, when I was reading Google reviews about the El Tule tree, um, everybody said kind of the same thing, which was, uh, I, I was really questioning whether I should come and see this thing. It's just a tree, blah, blah. But then everybody turns around and they go, this tree it's so amazing. I'm so glad I came to see it. It's really special. And I think that was my feeling too, is I really thought the tree was quite special and I'm happy tree. that I saw it. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's a nice little town, right? Like here, I'm yeah. just going to do a quick pan of the town. You know, it's done up almost like a resort. And it has, uh oh, here we go. <laughs> it's got a uh, church and everything, celebrity kids, obviously like the camera okay so i guess we're going to sign off for the moment okay all right hasta luego hasta luego bye bye